Okay, YouTube, um, welcome back. Uh, in, in the last video, I covered um, Audacity and how to remove background noise from your uh, videos that you, that you might shoot or anything else. Um, Audacity is a great program. Definitely uh, take the time to check out that video if, if you're having issues with uh, background noise, um, you know, that fuzz that you get. Um, then definitely uh, check out that video, and it'll show you how to how to do it very very simply, quickly, and easily um, using Audacity. And the last video I said that what I would do is I would also show you about a program that I like a, an awful lot. It's called MKV Merge, um, and it works with MKV files. Now I'm a big big fan of MKV files. It's got a variable uh, frame rate. Um, it's just you can, you can get. It seems to be that. You can get much higher resolutions, very sharper uh, images, um, video coming coming across, um, and very you know much smaller file sizes. Um, the audio sounds great. I mean, you can do 1080p and have it not take up ridiculous amounts of space. But first, let's uh, let's let's uh, go into what what I talked about the last time in the last video that I would show you how to merge um, the video file. And the newly remastered audio file after we've taken out the noise. So first thing we got to do is I'm going to show you how to install MKV Merge, and it's it's actually uh, called uh, MKV Tool Next. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Pac-Man, and if if you don't know how to how to utilize Pac-Man, I did a video earlier on for noobs um, showing how to how to do the uh, search and install and remove. So definitely check that out. I believe it's called Pac-Man 101. Um, go ahead and check that out on the channel, and you'll know how to do this. Uh, but I'm going to assume that you already know how. So the install is M is uh, Pac-Man S or dash S rather, and it's MKV Tool Nix dash G T K. And the reason why you want to use the G dash G T K MKV Tool Nix will work, but it will only install the client. You won't have a GUI front end, um, and that is what I'm used to because I used this program in Windows. So it's what I'm used to. You use the GTK um, suffix, hit enter, say yes, I'm going to do the install. It'll go ahead, download it, and there it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to take the uh, the video. From Pac-Man, um, and actually, I know exactly where this is at. This is going to be a multimedia, and there it is: MKV Files Creator, MKV Merge GUI. That's what we're looking for. So let's open it up, and here it is. Da -da -da. There it is. Great. So this is very easy to use. Very, very simple to use. Um, since the file sizes are exactly the same, like I said in the last video, um, I do not cut down. Um, anything until after I've done the audio um, remastering. And the reason being is you want the file sizes to be the same so they match up. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Add. I'm going to add Pac-Man Pac 101 MKV. This is the original video. Okay. I'm going to click Open. It'll put it in here. Now what you'll see is that your, that's one input file that you brought in. Okay, so this is the original, but it splits it up. It shows you, like right here is the video, okay? That is the video. This is the audio, and then it automatically, because of the FFmpeg um, screen capture or screen recorder that I use, it generates a global tag. You don't even necessarily have to have this. But what we're interested in is this audio, because I want to take out the old audio, so I'm going to uncheck that box, and then I'm going to add the new one, okay? So what I'll also do is I'll go in here and I'll have to add another one. All right. Now when I go to do that, you see it opens up and here it is. The AC3 file that I saved in the last video, this is the one that I edited. So now I'll open it up and it'll put it in here. So we go down here and you look, it's already checked. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we have one video and one audio both checked. So then we can put it back together. You can also which I, I always try to do this, um, I will go in and I will set the language. Okay? And why, oh, there it is, English. 
and I will do the same for the video. Not that it really matters in video. Um, but this way, if you open it up into um, um, DLC player, you can actually select your languages. And as long as you have that set as your default um, ENG, not that I think, I mean, for some of you, you may want to, if you're bilingual, you may want to redub it and do it in, in more than one language, and then you can add all those in here, And but definitely make sure that you change the default track flag, or the uh, default the language tag on it, so that when it's played in VLC player, it can be selectable, okay? Um, and definitely, if you've got people like me, I always set my default. So if I download something that is dual audio, it will always default to English, because I speak English, and I understand English. Sometimes, depending on who you talk to. Anyway, once these two are put together, all you have to do now is decide where you're going to save it. And like this will automatically, if there's already um, the original file that I brought in was Pac-Man 101, um, it will append it with a, with a 1 in the parentheses, or if you already have a 1, it may do another one. Um, it'll, it'll make it 2 or 3. Um, but it will always try to try to keep them unique. So all you have to do now is click start mixing and you see how long it took. It didn't take any time. And this this is no bullshit. This is one of the reasons that I absolutely adore um, this program and MKVs. Um, it's very, very fast. Okay. So I click OK and now what I have, and I'll bring this over, in here is I have the new file, which is Pac-Man 101 MKV with the new audio. What I'll do is I'll turn it on so you can you, so you can see it now, and you'll notice that the audio doesn't have that fuzz. Hello, YouTube. I wanted to do a quick uh, video on Pac-Man for all the noobs, all my fellow noobs um, out there, so that you can figure out. Okay, and that is our new newly remastered file. Now at this point if I want to upload it to YouTube I don't I have to check to see if YouTube actually even supports MKV files. They may or may not because I know it, it can also um, during the upload process for many years uh, for many years ago when I used it before it will actually change the file format for you. I think I used to upload in AVI or, or uh, it may have been WMV um, that I used before but it it changed it over into Flash. Um, if I can't, that's not a big deal because I can use um, editing software um, to change that file format to a different file format. What I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to open that up and I'm going to start editing. Okay. Um, what I want to do is I want to cut down the video file, um, take out the dead air, which I talked about before. You always want to leave that dead air in the front. Um, so that you have a means of um, pulling out the background noise. Um, but when I upload that to YouTube, it's not necessary. I mean, the whole point is to make your, your videos only as long as they need to be. And when you're long-winded like I am, it's a very important thing um, to trim down where you can. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so that was this video. I hope that's helped you out. MKV Tools is great. Play around with it. It's, it's a really good program. Um, I'm now trying to figure out how to uh, rip um, my DVDs so I can back them up, but put them into MKV, MKV format utilizing um, that particular program, um, among maybe, maybe a couple other ones. I haven't really figured out a really good way to do that yet. I know that there is a lib DVD CSS um, decoder, I guess is what you call it, codec. Um, but it's a library that will decode encrypted DVDs um, so that you can make your backups. Now, people will always talk about how, yeah, don't do that, don't do it in the States, it's illegal. Hey, you know what? I, I'm a firm believer in backing up what I have. Uh, many, many times I've, you get DVDs that get scratched and then you're screwed. Well, if I have a backup, I can always burn a new one. And that's, I have the right to do that. I'm, I have a right of making a backup of things that I've already purchased. So, in any case, that's the end of this video. On the next one, like I said, I'm going to start covering some video editing. 
Um, it's a good idea to watch these in order because I do them exactly in order. This is how I do it, and if you want the same type of results, um, this is kind of the order that you, you, you probably you might want to think about doing it in. Um, with that, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Please definitely use my channel as a resource and your research material, um, as well as, you know, come back and keep checking for new videos. I'm going to be putting up new stuff all the time, from one noob to another.